हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम बैक सो दिस इज आवर लेक्सर नंबर फाइव ऑफ द चैप्टर मोशन सो गाइज हेयर वी विल स्टडी अबाउट द इक्वेशंस ऑफ मोशन सो इन मोशन द इक्वेशंस आर कॉल्ड एज काइनामेटिकल इक्वेशंस ऑफ मोशन और राइट नाउ लेट अस सी द इक्वेशंस ऑफ मोशन सो एज यू ऑलरेडी नो नाउ वी विल डिनोट द फाइनल वेलासिटी एस वी इनिशियल वेलासिटी यू एसिलेशन ए टाइम टी एंड डिसप्लेसमेंट एस सो दीज आर द थ्री इक्वेशंस Uh, see the first equation. This is called the velocity time equation. Okay, so this equation gives the relation between velocity and time. As you can see here, velocity is there and time is also there. So it is velocity time relation. All right. Now see the second uh, equation. So this equation gives the relation between displacement and time. As you can see uh, here, as is, it is the displacement and time is also present. So it is called the displacement time relation. Relation. All right. Now see the third equation. Uh, this is called the displacement velocity relation because here velocity is present and uh, the displacement is also present. So this equation gives the relation between displacement and velocity. All right. Now let us see the equations of motion by graphical method. So this is a bus and uh, consider the motion of this bus along a straight line with uniform uh, acceleration. Okay. So the bus has uniform acceleration. So at time uh, zero, here we will consider the velocity b u. That means initial velocity. So here u is the initial velocity at time zero. Now when the bus moves from point A to B, so there at time t, let the velocity be v. So here v it is the final velocity. So v is the final velocity at time t. All right. Now see here the distance between. Uh, A and B, it is called the displacement, and we will denote it as S. All right. So here, see the time at zero, the velocity is u, and when the time is t, the velocity is v. Clear, everyone? Now, since we have the values of velocity and time, we can plot a velocity time graph. So here, the values are given. So now we can plot a velocity time graph. Now let us plot. Uh, so on the x-axis, we will consider the time, and on y-axis. We will uh, plot the value for velocity. Now see uh, here time t on x-axis and uh, the velocity u and v. That means the initial and the final velocity on the y-axis. So when the time is zero at time t equal to zero, the velocity is u. Therefore, we will plot the point here. And uh, when the time is t, we will plot the uh, for value for velocity v here. See the point. Right when the time is t and the velocity is v. Okay, now join the two points and consider the A B C D A rectangle. So from here we will find the equation. Okay, so by graphical method. Now as we know that from O to D, O D equal to initial velocity that is u. So A is also u u that means the initial velocity. And from the point O to C that is your velocity and we will consider as v. So final velocity v equal to O C. All right. Then see here time t. That means O E. So O E that means this is your time t. So d a also will be your time t because it is a rectangle, right? Okay. Now see here O C equal to so this one O C equal to O D plus C D, right? Ah, uh, this is simple calculation. So now rearrange it. Ah, uh, so we will find the C D equal to O C minus O D. Therefore, C D equal to V minus U. Now we got the value for C D, which is equal to V minus U. All right. Now see here. This, so this is the initial velocity. Sorry, final velocity minus initial velocity. Since V is the final velocity and U is the initial velocity. Now let us see. So D here it is the change in velocity, right? C D that means this one, this portion is your change in velocity. Then see here next. So we will mark the equation C D equal to V minus U as equation number one. Okay, now for equation for velocity time relation. Now as we know that okay, so see here this is the first kinematical equation that is V equal to U plus A T. So now we know that acceleration equal to change in velocity by time. So here acceleration we will denote it as small letter A, and the change in velocity means here C D. This one is your change in velocity, so we will uh, write C D and time t. So it is C D by t. 
all right now rearrange it at equal to cd so cd equal to at and marked it as equation 2 now see here from the equation 1 and 2 that means from this one this equation 1 and this equation 2 we can write as v minus u equal to at so rearrange the formula v equal to u plus at so this is the first kinematical equation v equal to u plus at i hope everyone is clear now let us see the second equation for displacement time relation and the second kinematical equation is s equal to u plus half at square now let us see here the distance traveled equal to area of quadrilateral doeb so s it is the distance and a is the area so s equal to a that means area of quadrilateral doeb here the stated reason is the area of quadrilateral okay the here the quadrilateral doeb is made up of the rectangle doea and the triangle dab so here s equal to area of rectangle doea plus area of triangle dab so s equal to here area of rectangle we know that length into breadth and the area of triangle is half into base into height so s equal to length into breadth plus half into base into height okay so here oe is the length of rectangle and ae is the breadth of the rectangle half into da into ab okay so da is the base of the triangle and ab is the height of the triangle and mark this as equation number one okay now see a e equal to u and o e equal to d a equal to t so see o e that means this one o e and d a uh, since this is a rectangle so opposite sides are equal right so it is equal to t that means time and c d equal to a b c d that means this one c d equal to a b equal to a t this is also a rectangle so opposite sides are equal therefore c d equal to a b equal to a t now substituting value in equation 1 s equal to o e into a e plus half d a into a b so this is equation 1 and substitute these values in this equation 1 so o e equal to t a e equal to u d a equal to t and a b equal to a t so we got s equal to u t plus half a t square and this is the second kinematical equation all right clear everyone so now we will see the equation for displacement velocity relation so third kinematical equation is v square equal to u square plus twice a s now let us see distance travel equal to area of quadrilateral doeb so distance travel that means s equal to area of trapezium doeb now see here the stated reason doeb is a trapezium so s equal to half into od plus be into oe but we know that uh, od equal to u be equal to v and oe equal to t so s equal to half into v plus u into t mark it as equation one now we know that acceleration equal to final velocity minus initial velocity by time that is t equal to v minus u by a and mark it as equation 2 now we will substitute this equation 2 in equation 1 so guys see this this equation 2 we will be substituting it into equation 1 and we will get s equal to half into v plus u into v minus u by a so s equal to v plus u into v minus u by twice a so twice a s equal to v plus u into v minus u now see this term this term is in the form of this formula right a plus b into b minus a minus b equal to a square minus b square so we will get twice a s equal to v square minus u square so so v square equal to u square plus twice a s and this is the third kinematical equation all right now let us solve one question a trolley while going down an inclined plane has an acceleration of two centimeter per second square what will be its velocity three seconds after the start so see here the trolley is at rest initially so here the initial velocity u will be zero meter per second and the acceleration it is two centimeter per second square so we will convert it into meter and we will get 0 0.02 meter per second square and the time is 3 seconds 
so we have to find out the velocity that means the final velocity v all right now the formula we'll be using can you guess which formula we'll be using to solve this sum yes we will be using this v equal to u plus at so this is the first kinematical formula we will use so see here u the value for u a and t are all given so it is easy to use this formula all right now let us solve so this is the formula based question you can just solve it by putting the values so we will get v equal to 0.06 meter per second so the answer is the velocity of the trolley after three seconds from start is 0.06 meter per second now see the last question a motorboat starting from rest on a lake accelerates in a straight line at a constant rate of 3 meter per second square for 8 seconds how far does the boat travel during this time okay so see here this is a motorboat which is at rest and at rest the initial velocity u equal to 0 so it accelerates at a equal to 3 meter per second square in time uh, 8 seconds all right so we have to find out the distance from at rest to uh, this acceleration so we have to find out the value for s that means the distance covered all right now write for the, for the given values since it is at rest so initial velocity u equal to 0 meter per second acceleration a equal to 3 meter per second square and time t equal to 8 seconds and we have to find out the distance covered that is the value for s okay now the formula we will be using uh, to find out uh, the answer is can you guess what are the formula we will be using yes we will be using the second kinematical formula so this formula is based suited as u a and t are given so see here in this formula all the values are given for u a and t so we will be using this okay so s equal to ut plus half a t square now let's solve it so by putting the values uh, u equal to 0 uh, and time t so 0 into 8 plus half into 3 into 8 square so it is 0 plus half into 3 into 8 into 8 now do the calculation so we will get 96 meter therefore the answer is the boat travels a distance of 96 meter so guys i hope everyone clear so this is all about the lecture 5 thank you guys